Norway is a nation noted for the Nobel Peace Prize and not violence. Friday's attacks were the deadliest day of terror in Western Europe since the 2004 Madrid bombings that killed 191 people. Norwegian police describe the suspect as a right winger with anti-Muslim views and no known links to hardcore extremists. Now for a deeper look into the attack, we turn to CBS News national security analyst Juan Zarate. He is in our Washington bureau. Juan, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Good morning, Rebecca. And as we've been hearing, the police have arrested a Norwegian man for both the bombings as well as the shootings. What do we know about the individual at this point? Well, police aren't saying much, but what they are indicating is that this is a right-wing extremist, somebody who has had Internet postings as well as activity online that suggest uh, political views that are right of center and certainly potentially tied to uh, militant uh, extremist groups. I think we'll learn more in the coming days as uh, authorities learn more about not only his internet postings but his associations. So I think it's just too early to tell exactly what his motivations were. Those associations are certainly going to be a question and that legs leads to the question of is this a lone wolf attack? Well, it's, it's appearing that that's the case, although authorities are not making any uh, conclusive judgments about that. They're going to certainly look to see if he had any support, any associates, any conspirators. Uh, but this is an individual who uh, appears to have acted uh, on his own. And what you have is the reality that a capable, willing uh, individual who uh, has motivation is willing, is able to do a lot of destruction on his own. This is uh, perhaps the, uh, the 21st century version of a lone wolf attack that is quite destructive. Viewers are looking at images of both of the attack sites, one in the center of town and then this uh, youth camp. What's the significance of these two sites? Well, I think they have political significance in the first instance. You have sites that are associated with uh, the government of Norway and then also the future of the Labor Party, uh, which was the youth camp. And so if this was a politically motivated attack, which it appears to be, then those are significant sites. He's trying to make some sort of political statement uh, that, uh, that's a, that attacks the uh, status quo and, and the uh, party that is in power. Uh, but I think this is, in some ways, uh, for Americans, uh, reminiscent of both Oklahoma City and Virginia Tech. And I think in a country like Norway, quite a shocking and horrific set of attacks. Absolutely shocking, absolutely horrific. Juan Zarate, thank you for joining us. We appreciate your insight. Thanks, Rebecca.